And as students head back to school, their backpacks will be filled with the latest tablets, laptops, smartphones, and all kinds of good things. Joining us this morning to talk about some of the latest uh, back-to-class must-haves is David Papp. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Mike. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been. So uh, times certainly have changed uh, over the past few years with respect to uh, what kids bring to school. There was a time when you brought colored pencils and paper and uh, duotangs and that uh, kind of apple thing. Apple for the teacher. Apple. Oh, can't forget the <laughs> apple for the teacher. Now it's the Apple Mac for the teacher. <laughs> but, but now Nowadays, I mean, kids are pretty much encouraged. I, I don't know if it's, if it's necessary, if it's mandatory, but they're encouraged to bring devices to school. Yeah. So we ha now have BYOD, bring your own device, and it's in probably over half the schools now. Um, there, a lot of them are embracing it where you bring in your own technology. And usually that's either a tablet or, or uh, a laptop. Not necessarily your phone, though. No, not necessarily, but it can be because you can do a lot of stuff on your phone as well, right? Hmm. All right. So if, if uh, you're thinking about maybe uh, updating what your kids have so they are ready for school, just give us uh, maybe two, three items that, that you feel are must-haves for the kids going back to school this uh, year. Absolutely. Uh, the best deal on phones right now would probably be the Moto G6, which is under $200. Uh, maybe the Moto G7, if you want to splurge, it's $250. And what's special about this phone? Uh, it's got everything that you need, and it's the right price point right it's a, it's a budget phone under two hundred dollars but it can perform and run all the apps that you need to these days okay that's important yeah all right the so next the next one would probably be the um, a tablet so I would go with the Amazon Fire HD either the version 7 which is on sale right now for sixty dollars or the Fire 8 which is only seventy five dollars <laughs> like I mean and that's a great tablet how does it differ from the other ones that you might consider more popular, the ones that are marketed better, maybe? Um, it depends, again, on uh, how much storage you have on it. You know, a lot of people like to load up their movies and stuff when they go on, on a plane or they want to travel. So you, you would maybe spend a little bit more in order to have more storage space on it or more powerful if you want to play some games on it. Now, now is, uh, was, was there one other item? Yeah, so I would recommend a uh, laptop, which would be the Samsung Chromebook 3. It's about $250, and it's it's a great laptop. Uh, it runs all the Google apps, of course, because it's a Chromebook, but that's actually what all the schools are embracing in their BYOD programs, are the Chromebooks. Yeah, okay. Now, now what about, I mean, as we head back to school, this typically um, might not be the best time as far as prices, or am I wrong? Are they, are, they, are they trying to really move them at this time of the year? I would actually say now is the time to oh, buy, good, believe good. it or not, and the sales are incredible. I just checked on Amazon this morning before I came in, and they're, ama they're amazing prices. Um, like, uh, I would say if you see something on sale, it's probably a good price and time to buy is right now. Okay. Now, you talk about technology, and, and, and quite often we stress that uh, kids are spending too much time online. We should be yeah. limiting that. But, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you read a lot and, and you look into what's going to be happening in the future, uh, within 10 years or so, they're saying a quarter of Canadian jobs will be disrupted by technology. So maybe getting into it to now, not a good, bad idea. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, the other stats are saying that um, in, in 10 years, we don't even know what those jobs are going to be. They're going to be brand new jobs that are going to be created because of technology. Yeah, so you have to assume that if, if the kids are being encouraged to, to bring their technology to school, it's for productive reasons. Yeah. They're not going to be sitting around <laughs> playing games, this, or at least shouldn't That's be. right. So, so it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing because it'll prepare them for their future. Absolutely. I mean, and in fact, almost every job, whether you think it or not, uses technology, even if it just means using social media or email or whatever research, uh, because you learn to research properly and how to phrase questions. Technology is very important. All right. And you're our technology expert. <laughs> Thank you, David. Yep. We'll see you next time. You can follow David on Twitter. Uh, there he is, at David. David Papp. He also has a blog. Very interesting read, davidpapp.com.